Hey friends, thank you for joining us at the Main Ingredients Bread of Life Devotionals. I can't think of a better way than to start out our week than to get into the word. We're concluding our series in the book of Micah, No Time Like the Present. And, and we're, we're ending with Micah 7, verse 18 through 20. Micah 7, verse 18 through 20. And it says, where is another God like you? Who pardons the guilt of the remnant, overlooking the sins of his people? You will not stay angry with your people forever because you delight in showing unfailing love. Once again, you will have compassion on us. You will trample our sins under your feet and throw them into the depths of the ocean. You will show us your faithfulness and unfailing love as you, has prom as you had promised to our ancestors, Abraham and Jacob long ago. Now, lately, <clears throat> um, I've been hearing this saying, um, it's been going around. People are saying the mighty universe, the mighty universe, uh, praying to the mighty universe. The mighty universe will do this. The mighty universe will do that. People are crying out to the mighty universe to save them and help them. They are crying out in praise to the mighty universe for miracles that have happened in their lives. Now, I'm not judging. I know it may seem like I'm judging, but I'm not judging. Um, I'm just confused. I figured it to be like coming out of an operation um, um, being made well and then going back and thanking the scalpel. Uh, it seems more like giving you, like someone giving you a liver when you desperately needed it and you go back and thank the liver. Um, we have a saying in the recovery community, the disease of addiction is cunning and baffling. Uh, the enemy is cunning and baffling, right? If he can get us praising and worshiping creation, it takes our eyes off the creator. Is there another God like you, God? Is there anything or anyone in all creation capable of doing what you are capable of doing? Now, we live in an age where people are more focused on creation than they are on Elohim, the creator. This is a trick of the enemy who is cunning and baffling. He wants us to think that God isn't who he says he is and that the, uh, religion makes very little difference in people's lives. He wants us to believe that the universe has more power than the one who created the universe. Micah says that God expects his people to do what is right, to love mercy, walk humbly with him, and love and trust him above all else. We wonder why we are not experiencing the fullness of God in every aspect of our lives, our society, and our world. It's because too many of us are seeking this fullness from creation. Creation is limited, the creator is limitless. In a world that is unjust, we must seek God. In a world full of tough breaks, we must seek God. In a world of pride and self-sufficiency, we must seek God. Only when we seek God above all else will we see God and experience his fullness in our homes, our society, in our lives, and our world. My prayer is that we would recognize God as God and we would seek him above all others. At the main ingredient, we're committed to setting tables for transformation.